What's going on my squad? Ventures squad. This is Vic Ventures. If you guys don't know, I'm doing a scary 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 reaction videos and we are back on Nuke's top 5. Now you guys loved the video. You guys gave me good likes on it. Uh, I wanted to come and do some more for you guys just so you guys can see my reaction especially since I do these types of videos and I go out there and look for these things so I'm excited let's get into it um, last video we stopped at the fifth video this video five more videos and this will be a four video series for you guys so so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel leave a like if you love these videos i'm gonna keep bringing them to you but don't forget these are nukes top five videos not my videos these are his uh, if you guys want to subscribe to his channel the links will be down below if you want to see this particular video by yourself or with your family link will be down below so without further ado we are at 17 minutes in three seconds these videos are insane they terrify me anywhere from Japan Mexico or um, any Middle Eastern country freak me the hell out and I'm not just saying that just to say it their videos are like insane there's like no proof that they're fake. So let's go ahead and dive into this video. After reading, this next video was recorded by a Jordanian ghost hunter that I've never featured before named Mahmoud. In the clip, he's investigating an abandoned building that is said to be home to a powerful curse. A As curse. Mahmoud explores, he begins to find old crumpled pieces of paper inside the cupboards, but he pays them no mind. However, it seems almost as if someone or something is watching him as he explores the house's cabinets. <laughs> and when he checks his footage later, he finds that there might have been yet another paper on a higher cabinet shelf that he couldn't reach. And this one almost seems to move on its own. What is moving? I mean, it could be the wind, right? And then, this is where things become truly bizarre. <clears throat> Mahmoud finds a bright red paper inside one cabinet all and these decides papers. to see what it is. Dude looks like he has like a taser flashlight. Yeah, it's a taser flashlight. Oh. Wait, what? It's on, it was on fire. Okay, I've never seen this video before in my life. As he lays down the paper to examine it, the very floor beneath him seems to burst into flame. What? He makes a quick run. See, this is what I'm saying. Later, when Mahmoud examines the strange paper that he How found inside it? the house, he finds a series of strange symbols in an odd, indecipherable language. So did Mahmoud find an actual curse? Mahmoud. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you guys gotta be careful when you guys go and do these things. That's always you always wanna bring people. If you go by yourself, you're for sure gonna capture something. You bring people, then you guys both will see something. And people can't say that it's fake because two people see it instead of just one. Oh, what is that? <laughs> one of the most tragic events ever to occur in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, I won't go into the grisly details of the case, but suffice to say, Sylvia Likens met a horrible fate, sometimes imprisoned in her own home's basement. Sylvia finally lost her life, and the house remains abandoned. In this video, My YouTuber Carlos like so Coy 135 and a friend are like investigating the Indianapolis dense. home where Sylvia met her tragic fate. Even though the pair don't notice it, things get a bit bizarre almost immediately. The house is empty, but 
this. This is a, this is freaky as hell. Did you see it? No. When the video is slowed down, you can see that it looks like the curtains on the far left window are pushed back, as if someone is taking a look outside. But the house is supposed to be empty. As they walk around the outside of the home, their camera catches another strange anomaly. What was the basement? Like, where did it Viewers say that it looks almost as if some misty white shape is peeking from the window and then rapidly ducks back inside. But I got goosebumps. This is when things <laughs> get truly bizarre. The guys check out the basement where Sylvia Likens was imprisoned for much of her time in the house. This is the basement where the little girl was tortured. Dude, come here. This is freaky. As you can see, this is what the basement looks like. That's f Oh, hell no. This is really serious, too. Dude, I feel There's a picture of the stairs. You got to sort of guy. What? As they walk away from the basement window, well, just listen closely and see what you hear. It sounds like somebody says help. Now, some claim or... that they can actually hear screams for help coming from the basement. Here's the clip again with subtitles revealing what many yeah, viewers help. say they hear. What the fuck? So I have goosebumps, to dude. Audio by oh my god, dude. Like, all the way down from my legs. And headphones reproduce sound so differently, this may sound better or possibly worse, according to your speakers. So, does Sylvia uh, Likens ghost dude. haunt this home? Or no. if you were seeing and somebody goes in there, that that's going to be a crazy there. video because you decide that's just bad. The watcher in the window. 13. First castle in Hampshire, England was established in the wow. early 1500s. Video number three. And over its grim 500 12, year history, six, it served 20, as a formidable six, English military fort. It was also sometimes used as a prison to hold convicts and its prison. To death. So it goes without That's saying that the castle I've never has been. seen some dark and bloody times. In a prison. Many visitors claim to have seen ghosts and shadows in its haunted hallways, including the spirit of a long dead monk. Paranormal investigator Tony Ferguson has explored the haunted Hearst Castle many times, and on each visit, he seems to capture something more and more terrifying. On this particular visit, Tony brings along fellow investigator Paul Sissel. The two men split up to explore the castle all alone. But for Paul Sissel, it didn't go well. Is he just standing in the dark? What is this guy doing? He's going to the camera. <laughs> Get away from the camera, bro. Oh. Paul says that he felt as if he were out of control, possessed by the spirit of some angry entity from the castle. As Tony and Paul continue exploring, they say that they feel a strange and very powerful energy in one particular room. A small castle alcove with one creepy little window that seems to open to nothing. On his next visit, Tony comes alone, determined to investigate this tiny little room and see if he catches any paranormal activity. He sets up a camera to record and ends up capturing something horrific. What is that? No! It looks like it's smiling. What the hell is that? When Tony reviews his footage later, he is shocked to see a small dark figure with glowing eyes standing at the window in the small Hearst Castle room. 
Now, you might think that this could simply be a person standing outside the window, but it turns out that that would be impossible. You see, behind this window, there is only a small gap and then concrete. The area behind this window was completely closed off with bricks and cement long ago. So then the question is, who or what is this? Hell no, bro. If I saw that, man, it Haunted holiday. Crazy. <laughs> this next clip is just completely random. Right, this is video bizarre. number four. It's not from some old creepy haunted house or any place that would even seem remotely spooky. This Let's video get was into actually it. recorded by a Nuke's Top 5 viewer at a random Holiday Inn hotel room in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So, a little girl sets up a camera to record herself unboxing I'm her new I'm a Nuke's necklace. Top 5 viewer too, and so... Then, everything just goes wrong. When it comes to me. Okay. In an instant, this a bunch is freaking of bananas real. in the hallway randomly fly off the shelf, the door lurches shut, and strangest of all, the bathroom sink turns on full blast all by itself. little girl in the recording told her family and they found this when they checked the camera so is this a haunted holiday inn is it a hoax and if it is a hoax why does this little girl's startled reaction seem 100% real let me know what you think now her face is genuine she is just to now know what's going on if you stop it at 2714 her face is just like what the hell just happened? She has no freaking clue. And that's the terrifying part. <clears throat> what did happen? What? Bananas fly off the counter. The door shuts. But the weirdest thing, the freaking faucet turns on at full blast. What the hell is happening? Crazy. But let's get into it. Alright, so this is this this is the sixth video because you know the last one wasn't too bad so let's just go ahead and dive into this last one behind Over closed on the doors pakistani ghost hunting channel wokia ta the team investigates a farmhouse that is allegedly haunted by a spirit or demon while investigating they begin to hear an odd sound coming from inside one of the empty rooms Dude, when you open that door, it's just, just fucking opening it, dude. The slower you open it, the more your heart beats faster. There has to be something up there. Got it on camera. I saw something lurking in the corner Hold of the room. 2851. So, uh, the reason why I got freaked out is because I saw his string from his sweater like following him when he jumped. So, I was like, What the hell was that? You know what I mean? But now, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Check his phone footage. 
this. Whoa. Slow it down. What the fuck is that? Dude. What? What is that? Gathering their courage, they head into the room to investigate. Nah, bro. Nah. That... That looked like a like a little girl or something. Nah, I'm good. Something seems to try to lock them inside the room, and then things really get weird. What's locked? The lock's not working. Do you can hear like something hit him or something. Nah, bro. You guys gotta get the hell out of there, cause violently shoves open the door, Fuck slamming that. Off into the investigator's arm. Mm -hmm. Later, when they watch their footage of the incident back, they find something that chills them. What the fuck is that? Dude, that's like another little girl. I can't, bro. Look at her face. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I can't. Nope. You can watch Wokia Talk. Ain't going in. Investigation of the haunted farmhouse over on their Maybe one or two friends, but no, nah, bro. I ain't going by myself. Popular YouTuber Techrax has been testing the durability of technology for years, especially the Samsung Tech Galaxy Rex. series and the Apple iPhone. On his channel, you can watch these phones get destroyed in pretty I've seen this guy's video. channel before. He pretty interesting. Extreme height, I've seen that one. Cars, shocks them with tasers, pounds them with hammers. I've There's seen that one too, the taser. And even a lawnmower. You name it, I saw that one, the, the lawnmower. Thrown an iPhone at it. However, when testing the durability of his brand new iPhone 11 Pro, things take an unexpected turn. He travels seven hours to an isolated spot in the Nevada desert. He plans to drop the iPhone 11 into a 50 foot deep hot spring named Diana's Punch Bowl. For unknown reasons, this hot spring is also known by the name The Devil's Cauldron. And we made it to the location, guys. I apologize in advance if it's super windy. We're basically in the middle of this desert. Uh, I want to show you guys the rig of what exactly is going to go on first before I even show you the hole. Now I want to show you guys the actual hole. So as I'm walking close, just a couple steps here. Pretty crazy, guys. You can see there's steam coming straight out of this water. It's supposed to be about 140 Damn. to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, so you will burn yourself if you try Damn. Uh, like taking a dip in here. But it's super sick. Well, I wonder Literally why it's so hot. Nowhere. Now, the first time Tech Rex drops his recording iPhone into the extremely hot water, the phone comes out fine, and the footage shows nothing particularly strange. second time he drops his phone into the devil's cauldron things get a little weird when he reviews the footage later he's shocked by what he finds all right so i'm gonna try to understand it all right that i had never seen before i had watched it three times but when i said i watched it three times i kept just you know rewinding and just clicking 
you know, twice just to go back like 20 seconds. Um, what the fuck, dude? Underwater. Like, that makes no sense. How is it that you can hear the propellers in the first video, but on the second video, you hear very demonic screaming? Like, that's insane. How is that even possible? You know what I mean? Like,. It's unexplained you see this is why I love watching this guy's channel he finds things that just amaze you you have no clue who, why these things are happening but you have also no clue of how to debunk them like the videos seem 100% legit this is why I believe this guy is the king of real paranormal videos it's insane I've watched videos on other, on other people's channels. Um, I've watched Slapped Ham as well. And this guy, Nuke, is insane with his videos. He finds the most realistic videos on Reddit or people send him the videos or, you know, just searching the web. And they're always crazy. So, you know, please go subscribe to this guy's channel. We need more videos from this guy. So, subscribe. But since you're on that note, subscribe to my channel. This was the last um, video that we're going to watch together. I am going to bring out another video for you guys. You guys can go ahead and watch that one as well. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Leave a like, please. Leave a like. Every like that you guys give me helps me out with like 6 to 10 views on my channel. And it recommends it to more people. So for me, you know, that is very appreciated it subscribes it i mean it it um, recommends it to more and more people every time you leave a like so that is the best thing you can do for me so without further ado venture squad i'll see you guys on the next one peace